1875, the Hardy family was asked to build a pyramid. And that pyramid is built like an orgone box, Wilhelm Reich's orgone box, so it contained energy. And once that orgone frequency went out, it activated the heart chakra on the planet. All of the cathedrals, all the other pyramids, all the medicine wheels, all the labyrinths now vibrated to the frequency of the heart chakra. This was created because our pyramid shut down the abnormalities of the Bermuda Triangle and the Great Lakes Triangle. And when I say it shut down the abnormalities so that the frequency couldn't change and was maintained by our small orgone pyramid to create the heart frequency so that the electromagnetic fields of the earth could feel the heart of humanity. Part of what Dean and Mary were up to back then was connecting this pyramid structure to the Great Pyramid in Egypt. Uh, both structures are uh, the same mathematical proportions, so it's like a match receiver and uh, uh, a sending device. So uh, what really connects uh, these type of structures is us. It's with our intention and our application of thought, word, and gesture that basically connects the two structures. We all began to understand that the oldest school in ancient Egypt was based at Saqqara, where the famous Steppe Pyramid is. And in doing a mathematical decomposition of that structure and studying it for years, it's a model of the human cell. An absolute model of the human cell, complete with the chromosome count, which we've talked about, and it's complete with all of the features, including the mitochondria that are within the cell, and these have all been structured in stone. The Hardy's Pyramid was designed by Kenneth Killick and utilized Wilhelm Reich's organ box technology. When the Hardys completed their pyramid, the resonating frequencies interrupted the imposed EMF grid and the polar vortex diminished greatly. The hard snows eased to normal patterns and the drought eased in California. Coincidence? Maybe, and maybe not. In 1981, Dean went back to Egypt with Mary Hardy, his wife, Doug Benjamin, and a group of friends. They got stranded at the Saqqara Pyramid along with 50 to 60 people. While waiting for transportation, Doug Benjamin levitated and started repeating the phrase, Mother Earth is dying! Mother Earth is dying! At that time, Mary, Dean, Doug, and a few others decided to create a teaching temple back at home to train people to be grid keepers and heal the earth. And the temple of New Saqqara was birthed. The old temple of Saqqara was designed to teach people to build a pyramid to stop the tip and tilt of the earth. The explosion of Atlantis caused the north and south poles to compress, creating the Devil's Sea Triangle and the Bermuda Triangle. The Great Pyramid was designed as a wheel weight to stabilize the orbit of the planet. These three places are exactly 120 degrees apart. The coiled antenna in the center of the Great Pyramid tuned the frequency of the pyramid and was used to adjust ever so slightly the tip and tilt of the Earth. Thus Earth stabilized her rotational spin and the new magnetic poles were established. The new Saqqara Temple was designed to stop the death of the planet by allowing Mother Earth to receive the heart frequency so she could live. The planet before 1975 was basically free of EMF, cell phone, and TV towers. EMF was forced into the grid by wrapping ley lines to create a way to signal submarines in the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans from Sawyer Air Force Base and HARP, which was designed to control weather and signal missile activity on the Earth. EMF, ELF, and HARP virtually broke the spirit of Mother Earth. The Hardy's Pyramid created a heart center that holds sacred space and expresses humanity's love to Mother Earth. That is why the temple is called New Saqqara. 
Old Sakaar, was built to train the people how to save the planet by balancing the tip and tilt of the Earth. Coincidentally, New Sakaara is designed to put the heart energy back into Mother Earth, thus achieving this by balancing out the heart frequency so that ELF, EMF, and HARP doesn't throw the planet out of stabilization by electrocuting the grid in such a way as to bring about electromagnetic imbalance. The elders of the planet want to protect our planet from the imposed harmful magnetic fields to save humanity. These would be the EMF, electromagnetic fields or force, EMP, electromagnetic pulse, ELF, extremely low frequencies, HARP, not the instrument that angels play, but the destructive high frequency active auroral resonance program. CERN Particle Generators, and Chemtrails. I'm standing here in front of a smart meter. Smart meters are designed so that the meter reader doesn't have to come around and read. But it sends out a huge electromagnetic field. And for those of us that can see fairies and a little bit of the divas, these entities cannot even come near these fields because they get fried. And so if it fries them, it's frying us. So it's smart to find some way to divert this electromagnetic energy that's coming off of the smart meter. Now there's a man who put um, little stickers on my meter to help eliminate the electromagnetic field. It is smart to hold the heart center in your house. And there's many ways to fix this. One way is feng shui, one way is to set up the ley lines so that they are not interfering with your electromagnetic field. We, the consciously awake, can shift and lessen the damage imposed by this technology. We, the consciously awake, can help reestablish the heart in humanity and balance the natural electromagnetic grids that power the earth and sustains life. We can do this with the grace of the Holy Grail Vortex shared by Mary Hardy, by learning to respectfully tap into the natural ley lines and grid lines of the earth. Prayers and love move quickly along the natural grid and ley lines for the greatest good. Love, divine love, is the highest energy on this planet, the divine power of love. Now this Sakara is to create the heart chakra so that the electromagnetic fields around the Earth do not damage Mother Earth. They allow her to be free. We can build medicine wheels and labyrinths on our land, erect totem poles, pyramids, and simply create sacred space to help counteract the harmful effects of the electromagnetic technologies and natural imbalances. Labyrinths and medicine wheels create a tachyon field that will naturally balance energy patterns and create doorways into higher dimensional realms. You can douse to determine the best location to place your labyrinth, medicine wheel, or totem. Dowsing will also help you to determine whether you have an upshoot or a downshoot energy. Remember, labyrinths, medicine wheels, and hollow obelisks are placed on upshoots. They bring energy from the earth up to the ionosphere. Totem poles and solid obelisks are placed on downshoots. They pull energy from the ionosphere down to the earth. We can ask assistance from the etheric Templar Knights and the elders of the planet to guide us. We can also ask the fairies, the Davic realm, and the elementals who are always ready to help us. R71 has shown us how to spin the crop circles. And what's interesting is the crop circles are electromagnetic vortexes that go into the grid. And it has been proven that if you put seeds before they are planted into this spinning field, they magnify their production. It is proven that by using these spinning fields, we can raise our consciousness and we can 
bring peace and harmony to the grid. What has been noticed here since the middle of April is many of the chiefs, the elders of the Native American realm, have been sitting in council, basically because there has been a large disruption in the electromagnetic field at Yellowstone Park. Years and years ago, 200 years ago, and many of the Indians don't know why, but there was a medicine wheel built in the Bighorn Range to act as a buffer to pull the excess energy out of the park so it would not explode. The Native Americans have been sitting out here in sacred fire and dancing to relieve the pressure in Yellowstone. As they dance, they take the energy out of the medicine wheel. The medicine wheels are always placed on upshoots. So as the energy is building up under Yellowstone, that offers like a stovepipe or a vent. Now we have an obelisk here, and that obelisk pulls that energy over to the ground and as it comes back up through the sacred fire and the medicine wheels that many of the people of Saqqara have built, and you have seen some of them, these medicine wheels are actually pulling that frequency or that disturbance from Yellowstone. Why the Native Americans are here is because this is sacred Native American grounds. Before we even built the pyramid, there was one of my husband's guides called Standing Bear, and he protected us all the time that we were working on the pyramid. It's time that humanity realized without creating a whole lot, they can put up a medicine wheel, they can build a labyrinth, they can spin a simple crop circle in their head or put it on a piece of paper and do the Holy Grail vortex over it. If we do not start using this wisdom of vortexes and balancing the heart chakra, the planet is going to shake itself out of orbit. <laughs>